But first of all, Coach, uh, congratulations on uh, such a successful season so far. Y'all you, won some really big games in recent weeks, especially in district play. As y'all enter week 10, y'all have one more district game coming up, a, a big game against Governor Christian here in Morgan City on Thursday. So um, just tell us how, how the team's been going and you know what's the mindset as y'all try to get ready for the playoffs and continue to build. Um, the mindset with our guys has been a playoff mindset since we kind of started district. You know, it's like, hey, we treating every game like it's the playoffs. It's just like win or go home situations for us right now. Um, that's kind of like the mentality I got the kids with right now. Um, we've been preparing um, since Sunday for this game we have Thursday. And we're just hoping, you know, to come out and compete and have a good game. Mm -hmm. Two really good teams, you know. I know it's starting to be a, a build a little rivalry, I guess, when you play teams across the area, especially district opponents. Um, you know, the fans, the schools, the players, they start to get more excited about it. So you got a really good team coming in on Friday, you know, a team that's won a lot of games. So, um, just talk about Kevin and Christian and uh, with some things, you know, it, it, you know, you expect to see from your team and uh, how you think it's going to go Thursday. Um, um, Coach Jesse is doing a great job with those guys down there. Um, Covenant Chris is one of those schools in the district that's been getting better also every year. You know, just like Jenner with Coach C.C. Paul down the road. Um, just like down the road at Hanson. You know, even Coach Charles down at Centerville. You know, um, everybody's getting better. Um, everybody's been preparing all offseason to get to this position where, you know, um, Central Capital and Covenant Christian has earned the right to be. So we're just going to let these kids go out there, you know, determine that, you know, on the field. You know, they put all the... They hard work into it. They put all their time, all their effort. Um, so these kids get to go out Thursday and put on a show for the communities. Mm -hmm. And talk about your kids. Like I said, they've been they've been through a lot this year, on and off the field. Um, you know, still trying to get their feet under them. Um, just talk about how much they've overcome and continue to show up every week and just try to go out there and put on a good performance week by week, like um, they've done so far. You know, it's just you know getting the guys to come up come in every week, um, no matter what the situation may be, um, no matter what, what's going on, just get them in that mind frame to go out to practice and prepare to go have fun. Because um, you want your kids to have fun while they're doing this. Yes, all the kids have goals, everybody has expectations, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure that they're having fun with their teammates. And um, that's all we've been trying to do for these kids. With, with the way everything's been going this season, we're just trying to make sure that the kids are still having fun and um, building camaraderie amongst their teammates. Mm -hmm. They've been strong. I know, like I said, it's been a tough season. You know, the hurricane, y'all still trying to get back from that. And But y'all not using any excuses. Y'all just showing up and continue to work, okay? Just showing up, you know, continue to go to work, um, you know, and performing. That's it. Mm -hmm. But on Thursday, uh, what's it going to take for y'all to get a win? You know, what's some things you want to see your team go out there and, and do, you know? Um, we just got to come out and play a complete game on all three phases of the game, you know, um, offensively, defensively, and special team-wise. We just got to make sure we take care of our business. Um, Central Catholic, you know, just making sure that we are focused on the things we need to focus on for us to be successful Thursday night. Mm-hmm. And then should be a good, fun crowd here on Thursday. You know, um, that's what you want to see. You want to see people out there packing the stands. So. Yeah, um, like I said, we have a... We have an undefeated team coming into town um, that's riding hot. Like I said, Coach Jess has been doing a great job with those guys down there covering the Christian. Um, and they're supposed to come in here and try to um, get a title. You know, that's kind of how this game goes. Uh, week 10, final game of the season. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be looking into this game, you know, have eyes on this game. We just hope we come out there and give everybody the show that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And I know back in the day, us old guys, we used to put a lot into district championships, you know, so. Um, I mean, do y'all have that mindset that, yeah, it would be a, a, a special thing, you know, for this community and this team to have if they can win a district I mean, these guys have team goals. You know, this group of seniors I have, um, they're special to me. Um, there's seven of them. Um, they've been around us since they've been eighth graders. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I know my team would love to send these guys out the right way. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to make sure that these guys are prepared the way they need to be prepared. And like I said, we're going to go out Thursday. And try to get everybody to the show. And you mentioned the seven seniors. Can you call them up by name? Um, um, we have number one, Mr. Tate Fino. Number two, Benjamin Case. Um, number five, Colin Duval. Number eight, Lucas Pickens. Number nine, 
Gregory Hamer the third. Number 10, Drake Rock. And number 11, Mr. Landon Lepre. Those are my seven seniors. And I'm quite sure it's gonna be senior night? Yes, yes mm -hmm. um, it'll be senior night um, for the football players, the cheerleaders, and the Eaglets. Yeah, yeah, so that's always a great moment, you know, for you to really show your appreciation to those guys for their maybe four or five years of hard work yes. in this program. Yeah, four to five years of their hard work and dedication um, to this school, and also a night for their parents and their supporters to come out um, and get a good look at them in their last, you know, home regular season game of the season. Yeah, and just one more question. Like you say, it's uh, week ten, so obviously after this game, it's playoff time. You know, but you know that's I guess it even becomes more important you know, as y'all try to make a run through the playoffs and you know uh, accomplish more great things. So, um, with that said, you know, just what you um, want to just continue to build as the playoffs start next week. with some things you want to um, see? Um, that's the next season. You know, every I think every high school coach his goal is to um, make it to that next season. Uh, make it to the playoffs. Um, we've been blessed here to make it to the playoffs um, every year. I've been here um, as the head coach, so we're hoping to continue that tradition of making the playoffs. You know, and getting there and get that roller coaster ride started. You know, get on that hunt. Last year we got the opportunity to actually um, practice and play throughout Thanksgiving week, and um, actually got to face the state champions um, in Southern Lab. So that was a good experience for my young team. So I'm hoping that they're hungry enough to want to get back to those points and even further this season. Get there, that's right. You, you've done a great job keeping this program together and keep it moving. And we look forward to seeing not only what y'all do this week, but hopefully the rest of the season, you know, as y'all try to make a run for the dome. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys.